You are now joining the meeting. Hello, everyone. It's Derek. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yep. Making sure we got a clear line. I'm going to turn it over to Coach for his opening thoughts. We'll take your questions on uh, Michigan State as well. Here's Coach. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's uh, had a nice, enjoyable weekend. Um, had a, uh, I guess, an unusual game for for us. A uh, little bit surprising, uh, to be honest. Uh, thought we'd practiced very well uh, leading into the uh, Wisconsin game. Uh, I'd like to, um, you know, maybe think there was a little bit of a heartbreak hangover uh, from the Nebraska game, uh, but. Uh, uh, Still, something that um, is is no excuse. Um, we got we got outplayed. Uh, we got outworked, um, and uh, that was um, when you don't show up uh, in, in conference play, no matter what league it's in, uh, on the road, uh, and give your maximum effort. Uh, those things are going to happen. Uh, we've talked about it at uh, at length. Uh, we had a what I thought was a very good meeting yesterday, film session. Um, we actually went back and showed them highlights of some different games, uh, one of which was the, the Missouri game and just how mental uh, the game can be at times. And uh, yet uh, we played to win in that game. We, we played with maximum effort, and we were, uh, we were very, very good. And, uh, you know, I think it uh, caught everybody's attention a little bit, seeing that effort compared to what we uh, put forth on uh, Friday night in Madison. But uh, uh, had a good practice following that, and uh, uh, get ready for uh, arguably one of the best teams in the country, uh, and a, a team that has uh, uh, got some um, tremendous size. Uh, they're, they're obviously the best rebounding team in the country and um, one of the best defensive teams in the country, and it's very under uh, understated how fast they are, now good in transition. Uh, but you've uh, got to maintain and, uh, uh, and, and, and fight and battle, and I expect us to do that. Brad, this is Mark, um, and in, in addition to all those things you mentioned, they can they can kill you from three too, can't they? Well, they're a team that they're they're a team that has been very streaky. Langford's a guy that gets going. Uh, they're playing uh, they're playing Miles Bridges. Uh, he's basically made the move full time to the small forward spot where last year he was predominantly at the power forward spot. Um, McQuaid comes off the bench. He's a he's a uh, uh, terrific shooter. Uh, so yeah, I mean they've got they've got uh, a tremendous amount of weapons, uh, you know, on the offensive end, and and uh, uh, Jaron Jackson, the the freshman, uh, McDonald's All American, is a guy that um, has has tremendous range as well, and um, and can hurt you from behind the arc. But uh, uh, we've got to make their touches hard. We've got to uh, uh, not give them the easy baskets, and they're going to get some. Uh, they they've done it on every single opponent. Uh, that uh, they get some easy baskets in transition. Uh, they play uh, offensively very much the way uh, I would like to be able to play in terms of pushing it and attacking, and and uh, they get a, their fair share of baskets under seven seconds. And uh, uh, we've got to eliminate those and uh, make them face our defense. Brad, this is Scott Ritchie. Um, Friday, you know, Mark Allstort, seemed to me at least was – Maybe a little more assertive with the ball in his hands on the offensive end. Is that maybe the the best of both worlds where he does that and also has ten rebounds? Mark was terrific. Um, there hasn't been many, if any, nights for 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 the entire season where Mark Allstork hasn't showed up and and been you know been dialed in. He's proven to become a uh, uh, a tremendous defender. Uh, he's smart. He, you know, in terms of his his understanding of the the scouting report, um, he he plays with uh, tremendous passion on the ball. Uh, he's he's impacted a lot of games with his ball pressure. 
Um, he has been inconsistent uh, a little bit on the glass, but um, you know it's 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 something we know he's capable of, and and uh, um, you know if we we keep telling him he needs to re reward himself for uh, get those offensive rebounds by making a couple of those layups, but uh, uh, but yeah he was he was outstanding his fight uh, he, he stands for for. Uh, uh, the the competitiveness side that I love and and uh, uh, and he's been very good in practice. He's been getting very very dialed in in practice offensively and both aggressively and and shooting the basketball and and uh, uh, probably got to look to get him a few more looks. Brad, this is Jim Cotter. Drew Casey played a little bit more than he normally did the other night. Do you? What do you think of his effort, and do you think that uh, he may see a little bit more time as a result of that effort? Possibly, yeah. I'm, Drew, Drew does everything right, and there's 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 value in that. And uh, uh, he competes every single day in practice. Uh, even when he's on the scout squad, he's had days where he he's he's um, uh, he makes our guys work extremely hard to guard him and. Very capable offensive player. He's a very good passer. Uh, he's got uh, very high IQ, and um, and he you know he, he went in the other night and and two steals and 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 ratcheted up and and made a made a heck of a two two really good plays on weak side help and support that uh, stopped them from you know they didn't score stopped a basket and uh, so that's something that. Um, uh, we're all looking for, and, and and Drew gives us a little bit of that, and yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, expect him to uh, to not play. And Brad, you know, to attempt just seven free throws uh, against Wisconsin, and yeah, season low there, but the, those the attempt numbers have been down over the last I don't know three weeks or so. Are you seeing anything you know, with your offense where you're just not getting to the line? Uh, nearly as much as he did early in the season. Yeah, pace of play um, as as one. Um, I think that uh, um, you know a lot of that was uh, you know, and, and the thing is we've got we've got a couple of front court guys, and and I mean that, and and you know Michael shoots a lot of jump shots, um, and Leron is is a guy that. Uh, um, doesn't go to the free throw line much. He shoots a lot of fadeaways. He gets he's he's figured out how to get shots off over people. So he doesn't go to the line a lot as as, as well either. Uh, but uh, um, you know our pace of play has become slow, and uh, you know it's about pitching ahead. And we're playing too much uh, in the half court for for the the way we need to play. And uh, you know that's be, we've become passive and. Uh, that's very reflective, and give Wisconsin credit. You know, they're a team that uh, uh, doesn't foul much, and yet, uh, you know, I thought early we were pretty aggressive, and where we were going with the ball, we were we were extremely effective. But uh, we got to play faster, and and uh, uh, we've got to get uh, uh, we got to get more aggressive that way. I mean, I guess as a follow up to that, sometimes you know the opponent dictates a little you know, how. How fast you can play, but what do you need to do to maybe kick things up a notch? Get stops. You know, it's very, it's very, very hard to score. It, it, you know, one leads to the other, and um, you know, it's, it's a. Uh, um, when you're taking the ball out of the net all the time, uh, which we did against them, uh, against Wisconsin, we had not been doing that. We've been pretty good defensively. Um, leading up to that game, but uh, you know, it becomes more challenging to to, to run. Uh, our effectiveness scoring under seven seconds was was still at a pretty high rate um, in the first half. We got easy bad. I mean, we were nine of eleven in a in a in a sequence there, and and uh, I think five of those were under seven seconds, but. Uh, Again, it's 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 the pitching ahead, moving the ball up the court. It's the uh, wings getting out and running, and and uh, the things that uh, uh, that, we, that we haven't done. And you know, Mark, uh, we, you know, we saw so much zone early. We got inside the zone, 
a lot, and we were very good against that and, and, and drawing fouls. But, uh, um, you know, on the other night was a direct reflective uh, reflection of, of not getting on the offensive glass enough. You know, one out of every two offensive fouls ends up in a in a foul. And, and uh, um, you know, I think we had three, three rebounds from our starting front court guys. So, um, it's a combination, and, and we've got to we've got to find some consistency and 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 effort there, and and uh, aggressiveness. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thanks, coach.